You're such an asshole! Greetings, Mr. Asshole. I'm an 18-year-old German guy living in Stuttgart. Yeah. The gates. Uh, <clears throat> I am writing you with the hopes that you can help guide me to the right. You see, my wish since middle school was to become a doctor. However, I don't really know if I should pursue this career due to my average intelligence. At school, I have been chosen to specialize in natural sciences and business. This year, I am getting my Arbiter German High School Diploma. The higher level exams that I'll be taking in May will be Maths, Calculus, English, German, and Biology. The thing is, I'm not very good at science subjects. Uh, last year, I finished with a grade of foreign chemistry, which is a D. But this year, I managed to get it over to a C, which is considered adequate. <clears throat> also, I'm not very good at math. Last year, I was taking lower level math, which I was good at. But this year, I've decided to take the highest level of math our school offered calculus and cur currently have an adequate grade of C. Uh, but that's because of a lot of work I put into it. Overall, I'm a mediocre student. I literally have a D for philosophy and religious studies and English. However, this is probably because I don't pay attention in those classes. Well, I, yeah, that's probably why. Uh, because of my low grades, I thought that I was stupid, so I decided to take several IQ tests on online, namely the Queen to My IQ test. The first time I took it, which was last year, I scored 104. The test is tough, and I finished it in another 30 minutes. Then I retook the test again and got a score of 117. I took it more seriously this time. I found it hard because I am not a native speaker. Also, on the Danish Mensa website, I scored 115 on the IQ but was a Raven IQ test. Do you think I should go on and study medicine at university with IQ? Is it low? Secondly, since my grades are obviously not sufficient enough to get into medical school in Germany, I'll be applying to medical school in Slovakia. <laughs> this does not sound like a good plan, kid. In order to get accepted, one must pass an entrance exam in chemistry and biology, my favorite subjects. Furthermore, the medical program in Europe lasts six years, and you don't need to study maths if majoring in medicine. My plan B would be to start my vocational training as a nurse and then go on to medical school at the age of 26. Do you think I should pursue this profession with my low IQ and grades? Do you think I should pursue something different or stick with my plan? Sorry for the lengthy one, Carl. All right, Carl. Well, look, here's the, I'll be honest with you, dude. If you're lazy, I can't cure lazy. See, and it seems like you're lazy. An IQ of 115, 117, that's not bad. You could become a doctor. It's going to take some effort. But this, oh, I, I, I didn't, I got a D in philosophy and religious studies in English because I, I don't try well. What do you think medical school is going to be? It's not, it's not whether you have the intelligence to do it. It's whether you have the work ethic. And you have to bust your ass off to become a doctor. Um, so I, I, would, I would almost, ow, I wouldn't go to medical school. I wouldn't go to medical school in Slovakia. I would try your best. How old are you? You are 18. All right. Well, you're an adult now. Um, I would try your best um, in what remaining school you have and not mail it in and give it your all and see if you can't, you know, get A's or, or sixes or sevens or however the grading is. Get straight A's, get good grades and see what you're capable of. Because if you did this IQ test and you tried and you got an IQ of 115, 117 or so, you're not dumb. You have the ability to do it. It's whether or not you're going to be a lazy fuck. That's what it boils down to. And it's going to be a tragic shame that you got an IQ that this, this is pretty good IQ. You could become an engineer. You could become an accountant. You could pretty much do whatever you want. Uh, but you're going to throw it all away because you're too lazy to actually try hard in school. I understand school is boring, um, but that's life, man. I mean, school work is a little less boring than school. It's a lot less boring than school. It's still boring. Um, but you're going to have to put forth your effort. That's, that's the main thing. It's not your IQ. It's your effort and work ethic. Um, so do I think you should become a doctor? Not if you're going to get into Slovakia. No, I wouldn't go there. Um, and I, I don't know if I'd become a doctor anyway. Uh, most people say, oh, I want to become a doctor. And we've had doctors email and write uh, pieces for uh, asshole consulting and, and captain capitalism. And it's one of the most regretted professions. They, most of them are like, no, it's not worth it. Um, so for a fraction of the time and effort, you could go into engineering, you could go into the trades, you know, there's, there's many uh, fields that are good paying and uh, only take a fraction of the amount of schooling. Uh, but no matter where you go, you could go into nursing. Nursing is a fine program, fine profession, uh, but you're going to have to try hard. You're going to have to get better grades. So, 
All right, that's it. You guys got questions, Captain's got answers, assholeconsulting.com. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.